Hello everyone, and welcome to the first Angels of North America video of 2022. To start off the year, we will be talking about the NW2 diesel switcher. In the 1930s, thanks to the rather popular FT locomotive, the Electromotive Corporation became a major player in the diesel locomotive market. Into the 40s and 50s, thanks to the 567 Prime Mover, nearly every model built by EMD was a smashing success. The NW2 would be one of these successes. With over 1,100 units built and more than 50 railroads operating the switcher, calling it a success would be an understatement. What's even more mind-blowing is that all of these units were all built in just under 11 years. The N in NW2 originally stood for 900 horsepower and the W originally stood for welded frame. On the inside, they had a 567A 12-cylinder engine, their main generator was a D15C and was built by General Motors. They could be lashed with other engines, but didn't have dynamic braking. The production run of the NW2 would begin in May of 1939 and would continue for over 10 years, coming to an end December of 1949. The NW2 had a top speed of 65 miles per hour ran on a B-B wheelbase, had a starting tractive effort of 62,500 pounds, and a continuous tractive effort of 31,000 pounds. Each NNW2 weighed in at 62,030 pounds, measured in at 44 feet 5 inches, and for the horn, they came built with a Nathan single chime horn. However, north of the 49th parallel, Railroads such as Canadian National used Nathan K3L horns on their NW2s. A grand total of 83 North American railroads operated the NNW2. These include, but are not limited to, the Elgin, Joliet, and Eastern, Chicago, Burlington, and Quincy, Reading, and the Southern Pacific. Later on, railroads such as the Burlington Northern would inherit their NW2s via mergers in the 60s, 70s, and beyond. The railroad with the most NNW2s was the Union Pacific, with a total of 95 on their roster. The Indiana Harbor Belt came in second with 78 units, and the Seaboard Airline came in third with a total of 69 units. With just over 1,100 units sold, the NNW2 had quite the service career, they lasted in service from 1939 until the 1980s, though EMD would start producing the SW7 starting in October of 1949. A total of 22 NW2s have made it into preservation. These include, but are not limited to, West Pacific 608, originally Union Pacific 1001, which it preserved at the Western Pacific Museum in Portola, California, as part of its Run a Locomotive program. Reading Company 103 at the Reading Railroad Heritage Museum in Hamburg, Pennsylvania, and Santa Fe 2404, originally known as Santa Fe 2354, is located at the Museum of American Railroads in Frisco, Texas. Don't forget to subscribe, please.